Hey, what's up guys? Welcome. We got something cool for you today. This is my first version of an Arduino FM radio. And what we're using for the Arduino FM radio is this chip here, or this little breakout board here, which contains the SI4703 uh, radio chip. Now it is an I squared C device. So it's connected simply to, in this case, plus three volts, but it'll work on plus three or plus five and ground. And then we have our I squared C going over here to A4, A5. And then this is just a reset coming over to D2. Now we also have an OLED screen here for our display. This is an SPI OLED. It's a 1.3 incher. And we have four push buttons for station up, station down, volume up, volume down. And as you can see, they are connected to ground. And then they are also connected to the Arduino through pins three, four, five, and six. And they will be set up with an input pull up. So let's go take a look at the code. Oh, one, one final thing. You need to have uh, a set of headphones plugged in to act as the antenna in this case. There's nowhere on the board to solder a standard antenna. So you, you could also use an auxiliary out cable and put this into a set of speakers or, you know, whatever you want. But in this case, we're just using the headphones. All right, let's go. All right, this the is the code for the Arduino radio with the SI4703. Now we have a bunch of libraries, five libraries, and they are gonna take up 93% of our dynamic memory. So we're pushing the nano about as far as we can here. Anyway, we've got SPI library for the OLED wire library for the radio chip. This is the driver for the OLED. This is the overall radio library and it works with a bunch of different chips. This is the specific driver for the SI4703. Now these defines here are for the soft SPI. Um, you can use the regular hardware SPI if you want to, you know, just easier for me to wire it this way. And these defines here are for our switches, uh, station up, station down, volume up, and volume down. Okay, here we create an instance of the SH1106 library called display, and here we create an instance of the SI4703 library called radio. Two variables, one for station, initial value is 103.50, which is just a really strong local station here. You can do whatever you want, and byte volume is four. It goes up to 16, one to 16. Now, um, for the station, here in the United States, FM radio band is 87.9 to 107.9, and we'll get into that here further. Now, in our setup, we set all of our buttons for input pull-up, which means when we press them, they will go to ground and we will get a logic zero. Serial begin 9600 for uh, debugging. We begin the display here with these commands and we initialize the radio. Make sure you have your radio reset uh, pin hooked up to D2 on the Arduino or this will not work. Also, this will not work with an I squared C display. I tried it and tried it and tried it and the radio just will not work with an I squared C display which is why I'm using the uh, SPI one in this case. All right, then we're going to set our initial radio settings. Radio dot set band frequency, radio band FM, which is, as far as I know, the only band this can receive, and station, which is our variable we declared above. Volume, uh, we don't want mono, so we are in stereo, and we don't want mute because radio for the deaf just doesn't make any sense. Uh, next, we are up to our loop where we start our display initialization stuff and then we print out all of our information here then we get into our program logic we say if digital read s up equals zero what that all that means is did you press the station up button 
If you did, station equals station plus 20. And the reason it's plus 20 is because if you look up here where we declared that variable 10350, there is no uh, decimal point there. And since these FM stations uh, go up in odd numbers, so our next station would be 103.7, we have to increase this by 2, but since there's no decimal point, we increase it by 20. Okay, okay. Next one. If digital read SDN station down equals 0, did you press station down? Then we subtract 20. And same thing with our digital read volume up equals 0. Did you press volume up, in which case we increment volume? And did you press volume down, in which case we decrement volume. And then we have the requisite commands. If you press station up, then radio set band frequency, radio band FM, comma station, because we changed the value of station. And then here, um, radio set volume, volume, because we say changed the value of volume. All right, let's go look at it in action. Okay, let's power it up. And there we go. Okay, so you see we have on our display very simply, let me zoom in here. Uh, Arduino radio, band is FM stereo, frequency is 103.5, and the volume is set for 4. I'll give you a quick preview, I don't want to get... Uh, whack for copyright uh, restrictions okay so if we want to increase the volume you know we can press the volume up button and our volume goes up Oops. I've never had good luck getting buttons to stick in breadboards and then we can go down volume goes down all right and then we have the same thing for station we can go up and we can go down. Quite simply, it goes all over the place. So this is the first iteration of this. And if you saw the video where we used the uh, keypad, this is what's going to be coming in the second iteration so that we can do in, in our stations such as 1, oh, two, five, and then press, say, pound key. Same for the volume. We'll do like a volume up, volume down, like that. Now, this um, radio board, let me unplug this here for a second and show you. This radio board is pretty cool. It's got a nice chip that has a lot of features, including the RDS radio data service, and it also outputs um, your radio signal strength and some other things like that. And we'll get into that, like I said, in a further iteration. Uh, this one was just to make sure everything was working and I could get it working. And if we take a look here, you'll notice that this has two I.O. ports. I'm not sh exactly sure what we can use them for yet, but... Uh, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Now, one note when hooking this up, you'll notice it's labeled ground, SDIO, S clock, uh, sense, reset, GPIO, one and GPIO two. Nothing is labeled V in, don't be afraid. This first pin here is your V in. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me the big thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. And for those of you who did watch the video on the keypad, I just forgot to press the zero button. It's not like I was skipping it on purpose. And you'll see it working in further videos. So let's plug this in one more time. Just to make sure it's still working. And there you guys can hear it. That's it for today. See you guys next time.